stars They're bigger than the things Oh, they can tear me up Hi, how you doing? My F, F, Fs How are y'all doing? Let's bow our heads in prayer Bow your heads Our Father which are in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us of our debts, as we give our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If you would like to say that prayer at home with your families, it is in Matthew chapter 6. Starting at verse 9 through 13. The subject today is The Devil Wants to Look Like the Truth. The first thing I want to do before we get started on the subject is to let you all know that on the last video I said probate mine set. But I meant to say reprobate, okay, mindset is what I meant to say. And I'm going to let Apostle Courtney read the definition of a reprobate mindset. To disapprove, condemn, or censor in parentheses of God to reject in parentheses a person as for sin. And another definition is to exclude from the number of the elect or from salvation. This is what a reprobate mindset is. And this is what the devil became once he chose to not to follow God. Once the devil chose not to follow God, God rejected him for the sin that he did. And we know that sin equals death. Okay. So the devil, he was kicked down from heaven like lightning. Okay. I want to give you another backstory and let you know that this same angel, which his name is called Lucifer, he convinced or tricked, really, one third angels to believe that what he said was true, okay? And if he can do that then to look like the truth to them, to convince them, this is the same thing he did to the man and the woman, which their name is Adam and Eve. He convinced them that what he was saying was true. He wants to make us believe that what he's saying is true. In order for him to be better than God. This way that he have created, which is evil. He wants to ascend above God with this. Okay. And so in order to do this, he has to convince you or manipulate you into believing that his way is right. Okay. But I want you to know. Even though he's trying to look like the truth or deceive people, you have to be equipped with the word of God. In other words, you have to know the word of God in order to not fall or be deceived with this manipulation or lie. Okay. He is crafty and he is wise. Because if he was not wise, then the Bible would not require us to be wiser than a serpent and gentle as that dove. Okay? You have to be wiser than him. Okay? And only way we are going to be wiser than him. Okay? Is to know the one who is wiser than him. Okay? And this is God's way and will. Okay? And we have to seek God for this. 
Okay? We cannot do this on our own. Only God, the creator, knows how to defeat this manipulator or liar. Because he has already done that. But you have to make a choice in your life that you are not convinced of these lies that he's trying to look like is true, okay? He wants to look like it's true. He wants to be God, okay? He wants to be a God in your eyes. But I want to tell you, he's not God, okay? He is a failure, okay? His way did not work. His way caused him to die and one third angels, okay? It did not work. He failed. But God, who is God, okay, the one and only true God, may I add, has won. He defeated him in heaven when he kicked him out of heaven, him and the one third angels. And he also defeated him by sending his son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for our sins so that we can be saved. But it's up to you to choose this freedom to live and not die again, okay? Don't be tricked because of these lies that may sound and look like the truth. But if you really know God and you really know what he requires, then you will know it's a lie. It's not the truth. And no matter how it looks, no matter how it seems to look, okay, that's why you got to walk by faith and not by sight, okay? Even though he's trying to look like the truth so that he can ascend above God, you have to search it out and know even though it looks like the truth, if you try it, I'm trust me, it's going to cause failure in your life. Because guess what? It caused failure in his life span. And it caused him to die. He's not alive anymore, okay? He's darkened. He's not living anymore, okay? And if you want to live, I advise you and I beg you to choose life, which is God. God is living. He never dies. So, choose God today. Because Satan is not the truth. But the Bible clearly states in John 8, 44, that he is the father of all lies. Okay? And I want to ask you to join the family. If you have not joined the family, the Faith of You ministry, please join us by subscribing and hitting the bell to be notified every time I upload a video. I really would appreciate it. And please, everyone, like, comment, and share with everyone you know. I really, 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 once again, will appreciate it. Go and check out the online store, which is Needed in Love. What's on there is Pimp C Collection, which stands for Praying in My Prayer Closet. Get you some Pimp C to be reminded to pray in your prayer closet. For everyone. I wrote a book called The Garden. It's linked down below in the description box. All of this is down there. Please go and check it out. It's more information down there below as well. And thank you for all of you that are supporting and will support the ministry and become a family member of mine. Praise God and give him the glory for all of you. We have a website, which is www.faithfulfewministry.com. Please go and check it out. I am going to let Apostle Courtney read the scriptures of today. Romans chapter 1, verse 28, easy version. Those people despise the truth and have no hope for themselves. As a result, they do bad things that people ought not to do. The next scripture is Isaiah 14, 14, NIV. I will ascend above the tops of the clouds. I will make myself like the Most High. You see, 
He is trying to ascend above God, but he does not or do not know what he is doing. Okay? He do not know what he is doing. He is blind. He is not going to lead you right. And as the Bible says, if the blind lead the blind, you both will fall in the ditch. Don't follow him. Okay? Because he does not know the truth. He's not the truth. And he's a deceiver. If you seek or search it out, you will see that his way is an error and it leads to death. But if you want to live, follow God, the winner, the one that lives for eternity. And that's God, the one and only true God. Follow him by following who he sent as an example. And that's his son, Jesus Christ. Well, Apostle Courtney will give us the last people who got the question right on the giveaway video. And here she go. The first person is Jay Cortez. Her response is, the wages of sin is death. Great job. That is correct. Keep on studying the word of God. Good job. The next person is Joy Madula. And her response is, the wage of sin is death. The wages of sin is death. Good job, family members. Keep up the good work. The next person is Joy Joy. And their response is death. The wages of sin is death. Romans 6.23. That is correct. The wages of sin is death. Y'all are doing so good. Continue to study the word of God. And may God bless each and every one of you. And the last person is Randall Factor. And their response is, The wages of sin originates from the starting of the biblical verse, Romans 6.23. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Good job. Answering the question correctly and giving a great answer. And that's to each and every one of you. And thank each and every one of y'all for becoming a family member. Because when you see those F's together, we are together. I appreciate y'all again. And remember, the devil, he is not the truth. But he is the father of all lies. But God is the father of the truth. And he lives forever. But the devil, he's dead. And he has no future. That is good. But you can have a choice to choose freedom, which is God and life for eternity. I love y'all so much. And I will talk to you later. Talk to y'all later. I love you. Bye-bye.